Hello everyone. Uh, the next issue that I would really like to talk about is the issue of blight in our community. As you, many of you know, I've uh, been going around and filming a lot of the, the areas that are falling into disrepair in this city. Uh, and the vast majority of them are on the, the southern side of this city. Uh, if we go out towards Highland Avenue and we go down South 127 over towards Catawba Furniture Mall and then we go back over towards uh, West 70 we see a lot of issues uh, with with the areas that were once viable and economic money generators that basically aren't generating anything now and have become uh, they're, they're handicapping the community uh, one thing, one thing that I would like to say is that we do have viable businesses on that side of town. I think about uh, Steve Eichard and what he's tried to do with the Catawba Furniture Mall and the 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 fact that he helped to uh, get the uh, Chamber of Commerce built and he has the park in over there and I I, I think it. That, that we've done this that man a great disservice by not taking care uh, or or facilitating the idea generation to take care of those other areas along West 70 out there where his businesses are because those businesses that are out there whether they be those restaurants that that are basically falling apart it seems where the Western Sizzling and Western Steel were or that budget inn that's over there, uh, the Hickory Motel, that used to be the Holiday Inn that is just basically become an embarrassment to our city. I mean, that right there, that is an entry point into the city. It's one mile away from uh, the center of town, and there's still a lot of traffic flow that goes through there and we're not helping the situation as far as the image of our city and I, I think substance is more important and than, than the image but the the visual effect that people see when they come through there is the the idea that's brought forth is hickory is run down and uh, we need to change that uh, one thing that, that I, well, a couple other businesses, I, I think of that substation too over there that, that does a lot of business. But, you know, look at the, the what's going on in the immediate vicinity over there of that business. I mean, we need to get some things going over there on that side of town. Uh, people have talked about, well, what, what do we do about the, the, uh, the blight? that goes on, the graffiti that goes on, uh, the fact that, that people are being destructive of property on that side of town. Well, you know, the idea, the, the city should not just take it and cast money at it. But we do have a community appearance commission, and what I've wondered is is that they're, most of, of the things that they have done have involved downtown, and, and I don't have anything against... Uh, and I don't mean downtown, I mean the, Amer the area in the immediate vicinity of Union Square. Uh, we need them to go out to other parts of the city. And we need to get the most bang for our buck. Why can't the, the Community Appearance Commission, why can't we take the steps to get volunteers to go around and help to clean some of these things up? I mean, uh, if the schools in this area have to come along and uh, give people extra credit or the people that are you know in detention or whatever to help them you know I, I, I know that 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 getting people that are in detention you know you sit there and think well they're not going to do the work well uh, we can make sure they do the work but not only that, let's get some people that are truly interested in putting a better face on this community. Let, let's give them the tools to help put a better face on this community. 
okay? And let's not put blinders on to what's going on on the other side of town. I know that some people never even go down on that side of town. They might go down LR Boulevard or uh, go down McDonald Parkway and they never end up in the south, they never go to the southwest section of town anymore. Uh, and I think that everybody should take an interest in what's going on in all parts of the city. Every city has issues, but you should not neglect those issues. You should deal with those issues. Uh, and we need to raise our, our standards in this city. Thank you.